Yes. Okay. Um, how many of you guys have an enemy that make, that you want to get revenge at or like take a, take action at them? Yeah. In, in this quote from from Miller, it says it's far easier to forgive an enemy after you got even with him. And I just want to say that's not the right thing to do. I don't agree with the statement. I've been raised by my parents, well, mostly my mom, uh, that revenge is not the answer for get, to get even. I've been, I've been, I've been getting, uh, when I was in middle school, I've been made fun of my size because I'm small. And to me, I thought, I thought like, those, were, those were, my, were my enemies. But my mom told, my mom told me that, um, that, that revenge is not the answer, so, I never got that in my, my mind, and so I actually, like, to me, I'm, I said, I don't, I don't care. People, my, whole, my whole middle school years and a couple of my high school years, I didn't make, make fun of that. But I, don't, but I don't really care because I'm not the only one that is small. And, and, and for that, there's, these, there's always people that, that want, they always want to pick on someone. Either if it's because they're ha they're, ha they're having their own problems, like uh, like depression or or something that's going on with their lives, I want I want to say they have a reason for that, and with that reason, they want to pick on someone else, and so that's why they 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 either choose you, or they mostly choose someone that they want to pick at. And then what, if you're that person that gets chosen, and you know that he's your enemy because he wants to make to uh, pick on you for something that he doesn't want to show, and so with that, you know you have an enemy. Any anything come in different size, like any different size, race, sex, age, and with these, they they could do it, something embarrassing in front of you or anything. I've never been embarrassed before, but uh, besides being small, um, I, I have been, uh, in, in high, my high school years, I've, I had these, I had an acne problem, and people would make fun, oh, uh, my friends would make fun of my, ac my acne problem. I, um, I, really, I didn't really care because I, I know that mm, you're not supposed to get things stuck in your mind, and that that's what I had. So, but I did I did have a, a little bit. Some, there's some times I had trouble with, and like my acting problem, and I I'm, I think actually came to my mind sometimes, and so I actually had help with my acting problems, and and my, my friends actually started seeing results and decided. Uh, supporting me now, so people. It depends who who your enemy is, and and it could also be your friends, your cousins, any anyone, and and with that. Enemies can uh, can can come and go in your lives, and I just want to say that getting revenge is not it's not the easy way to think. All you have to do is walk away. And I've been walking away from all my situations, and I I I don't have, have any enemies right now, and I'm I'm okay with that. But. And one, but eventually I will get another enemy in my life, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get revenge on him or anything, because I know something, something else is going on with his life, and he decided to decide to pick on me, and, and overall I just want, I just want to say, I disagree with this quote because there's many things you could do to walk away, and. And now I have an enemy, and I just want to say you should do that.
question a uh, survey at the beginning was a little awkward but uh, we get the point and I think you identify the topic reasonably well and you have a clear statement of your point of view there's no setup of what the structure is going to be or how you're going to talk about it and so that's a bit of a problem I think you've got a couple of good personal examples that you could use as a way to kind of relate this to the audience and for us to relate to you I thought that those were okay but like I said um, they they both might fulfill the same point of view because it, you know, it's just the particular reasons that you had problems. There were two of those reasons that you had those problems. But why is not uh, reacting? Why is not taking revenge? Why is not acting out on those things the best strategy on that? I never really heard anything that kind of addressed that issue, just why you got into those problems. And so it was organized around those two issues. And the, you know, it's clear, but it's not, it doesn't really feel like it's building to anything. On the delivery issues, uh, you, you project pretty well. There's okay variety in your voice. I think sometimes you could use a little bit more variety in your tone and a little bit more energy. <coughs> but you, you've got, uh, uh, you know, like I said, you, you are projecting the audience. You're reaching us okay. There are some problems with the pacing. Occasional, occasionally get stuck. Uh, there was one spot where you had a little bit of uh, time. Sometimes ideas sounded uh, repetitive. I noticed that that was happening. Uh, in a couple of spots where you're kind of going over the same territory again. Um, you have a tendency to put your hands behind your back when you don't know what to do. You kind of, uh, and, and you end up looking a little bit like the kid you know, who's reciting the poem in front of their class in elementary school when you do that. You, know, you get your hands behind your back and then, you, then you're shifting around a little bit. And that's when you look uncomfortable. When you're talking to us and you got a few indicators and gestures, you look a lot more comfortable and natural. And, and like I said, you do talk to us because you've got a couple of personal examples that you're talking about, and I think that that works pretty successfully. I liked at the end that you basically came back to the point that you're trying to make and remind us of what that point was. I think you could use a little bit of a summary, uh, but uh, the exit line was fine. All right. Thank you.